this is only a small lathe, it's a 500mm lathe. It's the Hafco AL51G. We have done several modifications to it and I'll also point out some of the shortfalls that we found with the lathe. One of the first problems that we encountered with the lathe is the actual little oilers here that we have here and as you can see we've done some modifications up here. Now the problem we've had with these is that they're basically um, collapsed, they're not a high quality oiler and the consequences of that is that um, we did try to replace them from the manufacturer we bought them from however the ones that we replaced soon broke again so the end result is is that we've basically um, just turned up a stop and as you can see here um, we've just made a small metal cylinder that fits into the oil hole and we can just lift those out put some oil in and put them back and we don't have the problems with the supplied oilers that came with the machine. We're just going to show one of the replacement oilers that we've put in. These are a small metal replacement that we've turned down with the lathe itself. We're able to um, insert these in into the reciprocals where the oilers go and plug off the area so we don't get dirt and debris in there. And these are quite easy to pull in and out and put the oil in into the reservoir areas. Another area that we found we had a few problems with was within the gears here. The main main two gears, these ones here, um, we did have a bit of a problem where there had been um, damage to, to one of the gears and was causing a slippage type situation. We had to replace that gear. Since we've done that and we've put a new gear in, the lathe in this area has been working quite fine since. Another area which we had problems with was the actual tool post itself and the problem we had here was that the rigidity in this section is, is quite poor and the only way that we're going to be able to correct that is to make up our own system. So that'll be a project that will be done a bit further down the line. The, the lathe is still usable as it is but um, you can't do any kind of reasonable cuts for this size lathe without getting into a lot of chatter. Now a couple of areas that we have made modifications to the lathe also. The tray here we put on, this just stops a lot of the debris as it's being cut off from the material that we're working at the time. Another item that we made was the stop here. So we made our own stop and put that on. And in cooperation with that stop we put this item on. It's just held on with a magnet and quite a strong magnet as you can see. And the other, that, and what that allows us to do is to put our dial on and then we can set the dial up you know, to, to the lathe, zero it out as we need and then work to our areas that we want to work. We've also made another, another stop you know, which goes on the opposite side so we can actually work between references and do some more you know, precision turning and tighter turning. Another modification we've done to the lathe is that we put a tachometer on the lathe. Now this tachometer is simply um, wired in and as you can see here the display and then we have the sensor pickup here. It's a Hall effect sensor pickup working off a magnet and as the chuck rotates around, right, it picks up the magnet that's attached to right, the lathe itself. You may see the magnet right there. And we've tried that out. The maximum revs per minute that the lathe can do is about 2,000 revs per minute. And with this set up, the magnet doesn't move, even at the 2,000 revs per minute rate. It lets us know more precisely what the cutting speeds are on the lathe. As it turns out, with reference to the spindle speeds, you know, that are designated on the lathe chart, they are pretty close. On the left hand side of the lathe, on the top shelf, we keep all our tooling and it's all been set up to tool height. And on the lower shelf, we have our cutting and lubrication oils that we use for the lathe. On the right hand side of the lathe, we keep um, a range of the lathe tools as you can see there we've got a four jaw truck, our plate, um, we've got our steadies that we use, a couple of driving dogs, um, a half centre, a fixed half centre that we use and down the bottom here is a range of other tooling 
and right cutters that we use for the different tool inserts 